Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another SSR 3 video. In this one, I'm trying Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Uh, I've been using this mod on the camping version of the game. Uh, do not use this on multiplayer, it could cause uh, ban your account. Uh, so if in, even if you use it you can use it in your own caution so i have not activated the mod right now and i'm playing on uh, 1080p and uh, no sorry 1440p and rest of the settings are on like high uh, with maybe i'll set the shadow to high and also the uh, ray tracing or rtx options are on medium and dlss is on quality uh, so on 1440p uh, high quality i'm getting around like uh, 60 to 70 fps depending on the scenario so i'll play around a little bit and then i'll activate the mod because you know it's a call of duty game and a little playing through is never hurts so if you want to directly show see the tutorial and the mod you can skip ahead to the video but I'm just gonna play a little bit then I'll activate the mod As you guys have already seen that the frame rate is uh, mostly staying around 60 to 70 but sometimes it have dropping take E to shield okay sometimes it's been dropping to like 50s and all when there's a lot of uh, explosions and shooting going around okay let's begin the mod so first i'll quit the game and after that uh, download this zip from the link in the description uh, extract it to the directory i'll also show the guide how to activate the dlss on the md cards uh, so copy the file then go to your installation directory of cold war and where the black ops cold war .ex is located paste everything right here uh, after pasting uh, you will need to edit the fsr to fsr3 config file but that's not here so for to start the game and when the box appears just close the box and after that you can see that the text file has appeared here now you'll want to select this and edit it with notepad now we need to change these two settings fake NB GPU and fake NB API and delete this false and make it true Do not remove the space in front of the T. It's crucial. So click on file, click on save, close the file and run the game. Now I'll speed up the video a little. Okay, I'm um, back in the game and as you guys already are seeing that the mod is working uh, FPS has boosted from 60 to 100 and 110 uh, you have to remember that this is 1440p not 1080p like if I switch to 1080p it would have gone like more higher I'll switch to 1080p in a second just let me play around a bit then I'll switch to 1080p again
Uh, okay, we are back in the Trinity TP setting again. Now let's see how much more FPS we can get. So as you guys can already see, it is boosting around 120 to 130. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this will be it, guys. Uh, there's a little flicker at the right side of the corner if you see closely. So subscribe to the channel if this helps you. Uh, if you face any kind of issue, comment down below. Now I'm gonna move the mic and play the game a little bit around to the end of the mission. Uh, enjoy the gameplay. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one.